guys, welcome to Smash the Crate. This is a series where I open and try every item in the Keto Crate. And today we are trying the October 2019 Keto Crate. Okay guys, so the reason I have this series is because if I don't open and try all these things, they end up going into an abyss of like never tried snacks, right? Exactly. So I figured the best way for all of us to get the most out of it is if I try them and let you guys know what I think and let you know whether or not we would buy them and whether or not you should buy them too. So, Okay, so mom, when you are faced with a plethora of snacks like this, what is your methodology, okay? And comment down below. Are you start with what you would think you would like the least and go to your favorite or do you wanna like get your favorite out of the way and then move to things you don't think you like. I'm gonna get my favorite out of the way. So I wanna make sure, cause I, no, the reason why I'm saying that is because his favorite's gonna be good, so I'm gonna eat all of it. Yes, but in a situation like this where we're only trying all of it, we're not eating all of, I mean, this is right. a lot. So we're only sampling. You still wanna sample your favorite first? Well, I don't know if it's my favorite. I know, but I'm saying you have to sample like what you think would be your favorite. Right, okay, I understand what you're saying. See, I'm the exact opposite. I want to get the ones that I'm not excited about so out of the way so, so that I can end them. on the favorite. See, when I eat, I eat my dessert first. Oh, no! And then no. I eat my food because no. you get too full on your food and no. the dessert goes to waste. Then that's not a good dessert because there's always room for the right dessert, okay? There's no such thing as a dessert <laughs> that I don't have room for. Regardless Regardless of how much of the meal okay. I've actually eaten. So I'm gonna try your plan this time. I'm oh, gonna try, have yeah. to try my plan. This is my video. We try my plan. We try my plan. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the things that like I'm the least excited about and then move to the things that I'm either most excited about or know that I already love. So I'm okay. excited. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna get into, which this takes a little bit of cooking, oh, no. is just the noodles. So these are the chicken flavored like ramen cognac noodles. Ooh, I don't know. I know, we're gonna try. I'm not a ramen noodle fan. I know, I'm not a, I mean, I was, but like, I don't need these in my keto life, you know what I'm talking about? Um, but like, let's go prepare these and then we'll try them. Let's. Okay guys, we are back. We have the noodles uh, per the instructions. We rinsed off the, well, we drained off the liquid. We rinsed and scrubbed under running water. We added the sauces and flavoring packets. And then the fourth instruction says mix up and enjoy. And enjoy. So we'll, we'll see about the enjoy. One out of two ain't bad, you know? Okay, so I will say that the longer that these sit in the liquid, the more like noodle color they turn. Cause like normally they're like stark white okay, and right. that's alarming. Yes, they you know? were. Okay, but I will say that we added boiling water to this and I am not pleased with the sauce packet, oh, like how it, how it has not fully dissolved. But okay, just gonna try a little. Oh, let's do this at the same time. Piece of this. Oh gosh. Oh, there's so much. Oh, no. I, have to, I don't want that much. You know, I didn't slap off the floor. Oh God. <laughs> this is a cluster. Yeah. Why just like oh, Exactly. Okay, I got mine, okay, I got mine. Let me just get a little. Okay. I just get a little. Okay. And one, two, three. Oh my gracious. I'm first of all, salty, salty, salty. First of all, flavor wise, not bad at all. Yeah. I mean, a lot better than I yeah. thought. Yeah, because I was. Texture wise, no. No, yeah, I was. Gummy, yes. squishy. The squishy, yes. Yeah, squishy. yeah, not, mm mm. I don't know if I was a college student and that's all I had. Yeah, but if, no, Man. because if I was a college student and this is, I would eat regular Raymond though. Oh, I wouldn't yeah, go yeah. buy noodles because Lord knows this is probably more expensive oh, than yeah. just that. Oh, so like, right there. I actively dislike this and would not have it's it again, online, even yeah. if it was free though. Right, like right. even if someone's like, hey, I got some miracle noodles, what's up? Nope. I mean, but like the flavor is really good. Right. I'm, I'm I would surprised. honestly drink this as like a broth or something. You yeah, know. That's probably. I think. I think it's the combination with the the, the consistency of the noodles. Is yeah. Like, throws yeah. it off. Yeah. It's. But you know, everyone that has miracle noodles or shirataki noodles, like that is the consistency. Okay. So you're used to that. Okay. I understand. I don't need this. Yeah. I. I don't ever need to substitute. Yeah. Like, this don't you miss that. spaghetti and meat? Not if it's this. No. no. I'll just rather eat the meat sauce. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Right. Okay. I mean. Glad that I tried this. Pleasantly surprised at the flavor. Right, I was too. Not surprised 
by the texture and I therefore I knew I would not enjoy no, them. No. Okay, next up, Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. These are just sea salt and black pepper, so I am expecting to moderately enjoy these. Oh, the cracked black pepper, we shall see. I don't feel like the flavor is ever that strong. Mm, okay. Oh, see, I like the, I like already. I like the fluffiness. I see, like I the, like the crunchy ones better. Really? But yeah, the crack ones. Yeah, you're still not gonna here. Put your, put it in front of your face. Like yeah, cover it up. There you go. Yep. Better. Okay. Okay. See? Yeah. No sea salt. Right. No cracked black no. pepper. I mean, yeah. it's just a pork rind. Yeah. I give these a tier two. I like these and would eat them if offered for free. I personally would not need to buy this brand because they are more expensive than the Meyer brand and I'm completely satisfied with the Meyer brand. Okay, well, I mean, I'll have to, you know, piggyback off that. But, I mean, I would pay my own money for that, but if I could get a cheaper, same flavor, then... Yeah, you can. Why not? Yep. Okay, oh. next. I am excited about trying... Ooh. Cuevos, made from egg whites, sour cream and onion flavor. Now these I have never had, so I have no expectations for whatsoever. Me neither, but I'm excited. Yes, I am excited. <laughs> Rip it! <laughs> okay. Let's see what okay, so it's like. mostly air. Oh, okay. All right. Take one of those. Okay, I'm, they're already a lot sturdier than I thought. Oh, no. Here. You hide your face. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Okay. 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 And let's go for it. Mm. Yeah. I don't mind those at all. Yeah. Let me, yeah. let me make sure. Let's uh, confirm. Yeah, I need to confirm. Now, they're not really, they're crunchy, but like they don't dissolve. Like you have right. to chew so, them right. through. Yeah. No. They don't dissolve like a Lay's chip. Yeah. They're a little gritty because you have to chew them like all the way. But these are good. Now what are these again? Cuevos. Hmm. Sour cream and onion. Okay, so the macros will help me determine if I would buy these again. Eight grams of fat, three grams of net carbs. For this, yeah. I give this, yeah, I give this a tier one. I really like these. And I would, would yeah, my own. I would buy them with my own money if I needed this, you know? Well, I don't know where you could buy, it. yeah, I don't know where you can buy these, but like, I, I know that I can get Quest tortilla chips, you know, at GNC oh, yeah. or something like that. But like, I do like the potato chippy flavor. Yeah, I All like right. these. A good dip, good guac, guac yeah. mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. Winner. Winner, yep. So next, I'm gonna turn my entire water into a kombucha energy drink. Ooh, kombucha. Oh, no. Okay. This is Theory of Kombucha Plus Energy Powder Drink Mix Raspberry Lemonade. So I feel like it's like it's supposed to be a zip fizz with probiotics, you know? Okay. Does Smells it, like raspberry lemonade. Universe, did they have a lovely bouquet? Okay. Well, you guys didn't know this was happening, and neither did we. But we're we're gonna have to give you a shake. <laughs> what? In three, two, one. All right. I'm gonna try this in reserve judgment. Mud your eye. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't hate that. Like, I don't. I mean, okay. I don't need it in my life. Right. I don't need it in my life. I mean, let's see. I'm comparing to Zip Fizz, which we compare no, everything exactly. Right, but I mean, to me, there's no, there's no comparison. Yeah, the comparison, the flavor is very dull and subtle. It is. That's what I'm saying. So, mm. I would. I like this, and I would keep it for a rainy day if given to me for free. You I would not storm it. <laughs> I would not purchase this with my own money. All right. Next up, we're gonna do the pumpkin spice stoka bar. Oh, I mean, I don't know how I feel about. I'm like, am I? I'm over pumpkin. I like pumpkin, but this time of the year, I'm just over pumpkin. No, I don't ever really eat pumpkin, so. This is a welcome once and then once a year thing. So it's like everything is pumpkin. It's like they just. Can't <laughs> <hate>. <laughs> 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 
Okay, no, okay. I got scissors. I can't. Okay, you guys, so they have, it is true, they have changed the consistency of the Stoka bars. Like, they used to be very non-uniform. Like, they used to look like those Nature Valley bars oh, yeah. where you could, like, clearly see yes. the different chunks. Mm -hmm. Now, this is one, like, homogenous yes. block, you know, which is not a bad thing, but... I like the way it was earlier, uh, or the previous version, but apparently they still make that. They just turned it into cereal. So, oh, okay. okay, let's grab us a pumpkin spice piece. That's very strong. It's not really artificial. I mean, I mean, I, I taste the artificial sweetener, but the okay. pumpkin flavor is good. Right. Mm. And, and though you know, I said I'm over pumpkin. Didn't mean that I didn't like pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And her piece was much larger than that. <laughs> so I'm taking another one. Yeah, okay. Well, I was wondering. I'm like, okay, I didn't say I didn't like it. Mm. Okay. Well, thank you. No, this is this is good. But I still give it though a tier two. I like this and would accept it if it was free, but I don't need this in my life. Well, okay. My opinion on stuff like that, even if it's a pumpkin pumpkin flavor or whatever whatever flavor they have, I would actually purchase that because. To me, that satisfies my sweet craving. Mm, it is. I mean, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, see, but that's the thing. There's like keto bars. There's other bars that I would buy before this one. But like, okay. if those didn't exist, I mean, this is delicious. Yeah, yeah. Like, and if you like pumpkin flavored things and you haven't found a bar that you like, or like, I mean, just stole the bars in general are delicious. You know, give them a try. I really, I really, really like this. And I have purchased them before. So, overall winner. You get to, yeah. <laughs> And you get to keep it. Okay. Keto Farms. Have you ever had this? It's like a little mixture of fruit, cheese, and nuts. Wow. It is such an interesting little combination. I had it for the first time at KetoCon. Mm -hmm. I was pleasantly surprised. I remember watching you in that video. Oh, I was just like, oh. So I've had these before, and I, think I know that I like them. God, you guys, packaging is the enemy today. I will tell you that. Okay. Let's see what we have. What does that look like? Where are oh, the where's the nuts? Oh god. So as you can see here, we have cheese, we have strawberry, and we have a pretty big pecan right there. Okay, so just grab you a piece of cheese. Grab me a piece of onion. Strawberry. This is, oh, this is that's a walnut. That's a pecan. Sprouted almonds and pecans. Thank you very much. Okay. It's just a very large pecan. Okay. It is a very large. Okay. okay. And then I'm, I grabbed a piece of all okay, right, there you go. And bam. It works. I mean, it works. And it doesn't taste like anything else we've ever tried, you know? Mmm. Mmm, the cheese. Is that good? Mmm. The Ooh. cheese is so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, again, mm -hmm. be sure. Just, I, I, yeah. I, I don't want to mislead you all, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna be sure. These are really good. Okay, Keto Farms. I really like these. And I don't know if they come in this size. I think this might just be a sample, but it comes in like a larger size, okay. you know? I would I would say I would purchase these like with my own money like twice a year. You know, like not something I would keep in the house a lot, but whenever I was in the mood for it, I would definitely buy it. Cause mm -hmm. like you can't really find anything else like that, you know? And what are the macro on that? <clears throat> so for one bag, three net carbs. I mean, oh, yeah. 13 grams of fat, seven protein. I mean, I really, really like this stuff. All right, continuing with the nuts. Okay, now we have garlic, parmesan, walnuts. No, I like both of those. Yeah, but I just don't know how I feel about them like on walnuts though. You know, garlic, parmesan fries or like garlic, no, parmesan, right. I don't know, like chips or something. Okay, just nuts, just saying, you know? Huh. I'm excited to see what these flavors are like. Oh, just little walnut pieces. There you go. One, two, three. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. It tastes just like garlic and parmesan, which is delicious, but then mixed with yeah. the walnut. Yeah, the, the texture. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. I'm putting these back. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. And that's a shame Ooh. because I can I can taste garlic and parmesan. No, tier four. Mm -hmm. Actively turning these down. And if there was a tier five, oh, mm -hmm. oh I mean, but that's the thing. The flavor is garlic and parmesan yeah. like i get that but yeah. i can't do that on walnuts no, no. You should. next nush cakes. Nush. 
Have you ever had a niche cake? Yes, I have. Yeah, these are these are delicious. I'm expecting to like this. What flavor is it? Nice. This is oh yeah. Oh sorry, carrot spice cake. Oh, so. cool. And I love yeah every so. bit of carrot spice cake. Yeah. All right. Got a knife here. Ooh, I'm just gonna nice. slice this. Slice it with the knife. <laughs> we are from Kentucky. Okay. Why do we have to take some small? We have to. Well, we have to take small bites to try it. You can have the rest oh. after we try it. Okay. Oh, look at that. I can see that that walnut. Now that is a walnut. So look at the see. texture. Okay. Okay. Mm. It's a little gritty and springy, but it's exactly what I expect. I'm not gonna say that's a niche cake though. Yeah, exactly. It's a niche cake. Great with some bulletproof coffee. Great with coffee, great with like a cream cheese spread. People would put that on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Don't people do that. Yeah, yeah, people do that all the time. Um yeah, let's see. 17 total carbs. Where are the four fibers? So that takes us down to 13. 10 sugar alcohol. So that's three net carbs for this whole thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm eating this and I'm buying I'm buying these with my own money. Yes. Okay, next we are trying pro puffs. So chocolate puffs. Don't these look yes, just like, like cocoa puffs? Yes. I mean, hopefully they Remember taste. Remember the cocoa puffs we had on vacation in Minnesota? Yes, we had a lot of cocoa puffs. We were puffs. puffed yeah, up. We, yeah. <laughs> we got puffed up. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we were puffed. Uh, okay, so hopefully these taste anything like cocoa puffs. You know, oh, if they yes. taste anything close to it, I'll be excited about yes. that. Two hands, <laughs> like two scoops. She didn't put both her hands. I'm not pouring that eating. many. I'm not pouring that. Like, that's how many you need. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Okay. All right. I'm just tossing them okay, in. Might as well. Okay. No. No. They don't taste bad. They're like they don't taste like cocoa puffs. It's like a we. It's like a different chocolate flavor. Yeah, I'm gonna say I don't. I don't even know. I don't know how to describe the feeling that I'm feeling. Disappointment. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, you, know, you want to like something? Like, come on. I mean, these don't taste bad. I mean, yeah, that's exactly. Okay, she's right. They don't taste bad. Maybe because we're just probably comparing them to the cocoa puffs. Yeah, exactly. I give these a tier two. Like I like these, and if someone gave them to me, I'd keep them around. You know, I mean, um, if not I needed like a cereal fix, so I would try. No. I would use that for that because they would work. Not like dry cereal, so no, either either or. I mean, I don't hate these; they're just not cocoa puffs. But now that I've gotten that out of my mind, I'm not as disappointed. No, yeah. and they're starting to taste better. Yeah, yeah, no, they're starting to taste more like themselves right. you know <laughs> not knock off cocoa puffs okay no. these are these are good okay next we have this primal kitchen turmeric collagen did you say turmeric no i said turmeric golden turmeric mm -hmm. there's an r in there most people pronounce it turmeric but there's an r in there so i'm calling mm -hmm. it turmeric mm -hmm. um so we have just heated this up in like eight to 12 ounces of boiling water and I'm gonna give it a try. Now I will say that it's it smells very earthy and turmeric-y. Just don't know if I need it in my life. Mm. You could sip that. that. I mean, that doesn't taste bad at all. I mean, no, it's not, I guess the flavor, I'm always expecting a Strong flavor. No, just a, just a that's the thing. No, taste. nothing with these is really a strong flavor. Um, I mean, it'll work. This will work. I would never choose a savory collagen over a sweet one. No, you know? definitely. I mean, I don't particularly like it. And I mean, I would take it if you gave it to me for like a rainy, rainy, rainy day, you know? Okay. But I mean, the flavor, it tastes good. I just, once again, I don't need this in my life. And are you sure the R's not silent? No, it's turmeric, what? everyone. P pneumonia on no. your chest. <laughs> Comment down below. Are you hashtag team turmeric or team turmeric? Okay. And I don't, you're going to have to spell that to let me know which one. Cause it has an R in it. Okay. Maybe T E R. Oh, that's the yeah, term. Yeah. Turmeric. Exactly. So no. Turmeric? 
It's turmeric. Exactly. Okay, next, something I'm really excited about, the Revel Snacks. Double dark chocolate coconut bites. And apparently there's like a chocolate ganache Whoa. in the middle. I know. I, I'm very excited about this. She used the ding dang scissors. I oh, know, right? I have scissors. Oh, okay. All right. Look okay. At oh, Look at what? this packaging. Okay. And these little pods that it has right here. I am okay with this. Okay. okay. All right. You better be good. Grab you a pod. Hmm. There's like a seed in there or something. Coconut in there? Okay, coconut bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you like coconut? Okay. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Drop dead. Drop mm -hmm. dead delicious. I mean, you are. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. Right off the bat, the ganache filling is not very overpowering. Like I was hoping to be inundated with ganache. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, I really like the flavor. Texture's not bad either. I really like the texture. Mm -hmm. I love how chewy mm -hmm. it is. Right. Like. Everybody knows I love a good chew. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Mm -hmm. So um, the flavor is good. The chew is good. For two of these, there is only one net one car. Net car. Wow. I will have another mm -hmm. in, in that case. Not sure if I'm buying these, but like would totally accept them for free. I would buy them depending on the cost, but texture is just on point. Mm -hmm. Texture is on point. Mm -hmm. I give these a tier two, like depending on the cost, making their way to tier one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. These are good. <sighs> All right. And in the words of great 90s songstress uh, Vanessa Williams, I have saved the best for last. Um, what I'm hoping is the best. Know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the Ketology Keto Brownie. It is the chocolate almond butter brownie. Now, if this is what I think it is, I had this at KetoCon this past year and it was amazing. It was like a new product that they were offering. It was like still in development at that point. So we were getting the first tastes of it. So the fact that like it has been produced and is on the market, I am so excited. Hmm, it looks crumbly like just what you like. It does look crumbly. Now I said though when I when I tasted it, it I likened it to like a little Debbie's brownie. Like it tasted like those brownies. You know like with the one with the little the squishy, hash right? in the middle. It, no, no, no. The ha like the hash in the middle and the nuts on either side look like a domino. Oh, it's like the little okay. Debbie. Yes. yes, like that's what exactly what it tasted like when I had it. Where's the knife? You can see some almonds. You can see the texture. Okay. Here's to hoping this is what I thought it was. Right. Me. Okay. So here's hoping to. <laughs> it is what you thought it was. That's what I thought it was. It's enjoyable. I really like that. You don't really like it? No, I mean, I like it. However, I prefer the booby head right before it. Oh, you prefer the Rebel Snacks? Yes. No, I'm all over this. I mean, this is good. No, this is good. But mm. if somebody said you can have this or that. I would have that. Mm. This is exactly what I wanted it to be. I won today. Number one, love it. Definitely plan on purchasing them with my own money. <laughs> now that I know they exist. It's, it's crumbly. It's chocolatey. The almonds are in there. I love it. I mean, I really, no, really I mean, enjoy it. It's good. I'm not, I'm not taking anything from it. But, you know, if I had to choose my chocolates, mm -hmm. this is the chocolate I choose. Mm -hmm. So, overall, what were your thoughts about everything that came in the October 2019 Keto Crate? I mean, I think we enjoyed right at 50% of mm -hmm. it. So, I mean, which is, I mean, that's really not enough percentage of it for you really see for me I not only take the enjoyment of the product into account I take the exposure to the product in account too so even if I tried it and didn't like it I'm still glad that I know it exists now you know even if you didn't like it even if I didn't like okay. it I mean it's good to know what's out there and but you're right there were Plenty of things in here that I would not buy with my own money, but that's kind of why I like the keto crate because it's like it, you're not, it's like you're not really buying it with your exactly. own money. You, you know, to try. yeah, they're just they're giving it to you for free, even though you pay for the crate. It's like you get to try the sampling of it to decide if you'd want to like purchase all of it again. Overall, to me, this box was a winner. I got exposed to some things that I've never seen before. I got to try some things like those Quavos mm -hmm. and the Stoker Bar that I've been try. wanting to try. 95% of the things in here that were all new to me. So 
The game so, I mean, that's like worth work. something. Oh, yeah, right? So, course. even if you of turned course. out, even if it turned out to where you don't really like the product, though, knowing that it's out there and having the chance to try it when you otherwise would not have. That is correct. I think that's, I think that's good. Yeah, that's very good exposure. Like I said, knowing that all these things are out there. Mm-hmm. I, I would agree. Okay, and now for the best part. Okay, you just saw us try everything in the October Keto Crate, but now... One of you guys is going to win your very own Keto Crave and get to try all of the all stuff. Of wonderful thing. Yes, so let's go ahead and draw the winner for the October 2019 Keto Crate right now. Let's do it. Follow me to the computer, will you? Follow me. Okay. Okay, so now my mom is going to pick a winner and go. Winner, D. Marie Rivera. Oh, and it says, oh yeah, this is good for us newbies. So yes, it is, D. Marie. You are a winner, congratulations. Go ahead and email me at watchautumnketo at gmail.com. That's in the description and let me know your address and you will get your very own keto crate. Okay, so congratulations to the winner. Overall, this was a great series and we're gonna be doing this every month so that you can see everything in the keto crate from now on and we'll be drawing a winner after every one yes i had a ball i know i had a ball and i'm stuffed oh no me too it was, I that was a lot samples. yeah yes, it, was. it was a lot thank you so much for watching this video if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel watch autumn keto i make weekly meal preps weekly what i eat wednesdays monthly weigh-ins monthly keto crate unboxings and the occasional product review and recipe you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and we'll see you next month.